Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Now, So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow. So go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. And turn on that little bell so that you get a notification every single time that I go live or I upload something new. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, Cassandra. Hey, Craig, the writer, Stuart, how are you? <laughs> I am well. <laughs> <laughs> are you in the States or? I am. I'm actually driving um, driving to Conyers right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How are you? How have things been going? <laughs> it's been good. I can't complain. Just oh, Right. You're breaking up a little yeah. bit. You're in the building at work? Uh, I'm trying to find a good spot, so that's why I'm uh, testing it. So that's uh, not a good spot. I can hear you perfectly right now. <laughs> oh, I'm in the middle of the hallway. That ain't gonna work. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if the break room will work, because that's actually better. Okay. Because, you know, my one's around or whatever. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So they moved out of the chairs. Yes, Did your girlfriend yes. tell you that, um, I saw, that she saw me? I didn't see her. She saw oh, me. Yeah. Tell me her name yeah, again. She did. Tanya, 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 Tanya. 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 right? Yeah. So I was minding my business, <laughs> and I was um, what was what? I doing? I was walking. I think she said you had the post up. You I was at yes, up? that's what I was doing. I just shipped off some books, and then <clears throat> this this girl that worked at the post office was going to be having her car washed by some man that was kind of like outside, and she was like, he she was coming out to bring her keys. And mm -hmm. I hadn't had my car washed in months, you know, because it still hasn't been, well, he washed it, but it hadn't been washed since I, before I left. And so I said, well, I really do need to wash it because a bunch of leaves had piled up on it while I was gone. And so I let him wash it. And so, because I saw her about to do it. And so when I was standing around, just like milling around, waiting for him to finish, I hear this um, car like blowing a horn. I'm like looking like, who is this like blowing at me? And I ain't recognized the car. And I was like, who is that? And she pulled up and was like, hey, Craig. And I was like, oh, hey. Of course I can remember her name, but I remembered her face. I remembered her face. And I said, like, hey, how you doing? And I was telling her then that I needed to reach out to you because I, you know, um, I had filmed telling our stories while I was away. And she said y'all had just been together, I think that weekend or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is funny. She didn't believe that. And she rarely do that to people. Right. Hola. She... Hey, Craig. I'm going outside where I can get some reception. <laughs> Not in the cold. <laughs> it's I know, but that's probably the best place I'm going to be able to, um, to, be able to talk. talk to you. Let me see here. Yeah, it's been, um, hmm. It's been a crazy few months yeah um and for some strange oh i may be able to sit in the lobby for some strange reason uh -huh. everybody is reaching out to you time, want to edit some stuff yeah. yes and it was very weird that i was like i can't believe this um <clears throat> so what i had going on, i had two major network folk shows which is a big deal that's a good thing for me two major Eight networks that, that would be airing, yes. Oh, good. It was special, yeah. So those were going on simultaneously. Yeah. Um, and then your project, mm -hmm. and I had all my other regular stuff. I got right. a, um, my regular stuff for the church, and then I had another friend of mine who's trying to do a picture show. She mm -hmm. wanted to get on my, my calendar. So I did get behind where I wanted to be. Yeah, I yeah. wanted to be ahead of the game by now, but it just... I'm just one person. Right, right, right. <laughs> so um, this young girl who, she was an intern with me, and she's, um, they just hired her up here. So I, I told myself I may try to get her to kind of help me on some things. Uh-huh. She's very good, very creative, pick up very well. So okay. that is going to prayerfully help me kind of, right. you know, go get through all this, this, this stuff I'm going through. But what I wanted to do with you, I read over your notes and stuff. Uh-huh. So I read everything. You want this documentary style? Excuse me. Feel to it. Yeah. Um. 
and I saw where you got your pop-ups. You looked a little different. Uh -huh. I saw the sample pop-ups that you wanted. Yes. My question for you was, did you want the same, like we did the opening and all of that, did you want them to transition? Did you want that to stay the same and just the body of the part to be different or are you wanting an entire whole new look? So for this particular one, I want the opening to be different because I was in Paris when it happened and I don't want it to be confusing mm -hmm. where it's showing like the top of my house and the trees and that. that you no, know. yeah, I won't do that. Oh, yeah, well, the images well. were definitely, uh, but just the, the, the create, I guess the creative content of it. So like, um, like everywhere you may see the opening previous, all of those images uh -huh. would be the Paris images. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah so I wanted the same. Still the brand of telling our story. Correct. But it's just, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so I wanted yeah. that, but, but, but you do want your pop-ups to be different. Yeah, I do want the pop-ups to look different. I want them to have a different aesthetic. And it's the one that okay. I sent you. Um, yes. But yeah, so like, what I'm hoping is we can find some stock. I mean, I did send you quite a bit of video. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I, yeah. I got the little Eiffel Tower and some stuff. Yeah, the, the pictures and things like that. Right, that's that's workable. Right, so I'm thinking if we can <laughs> use some of that as the opening. So like in the beginning of the original mm -hmm. one, we we had the drone and it was up in the sky. And but mm -hmm. if we can use some of that footage that I sent you as like as a place setter. That would be fine. Yeah, and like you said, I could I can pull some um stock. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm, that too. Yeah. Yes, I do have that notes to pull stock. Okay. So that's, that's just that's cool. I just wanted to see where we were going. The creatives to see if uh -huh. it's still it's because it's those little things. Even like the coming up next is yeah. Um, the the footage and everything that you're having me create this Paris documentary film look will be there. Yeah. But all of the, the, the I guess, the toppings mm -hmm. and overlays yeah. and stuff will still have that brand of telling our story. Right. So that we won't stray too far. Okay. Right. I was wondering, so, okay. Okay. Yeah, so I just wanted to um, verify that part. Mm -hmm. And I like the way okay. you had, um, mm -hmm. what do you call them? Like something cards? Story cards or something you call them? Oh, no. I can't remember. <laughs> you know, like, you know, you know, like, the, like the little, um, Place cards? You call them like place cards or something you call them. I don't remember now. I can't remember. Um, what does it say on them? What, so like, what is, what's happening at the time? So like, remember how like, like I want to keep the colors the same. Remember how I said, um, mm -hmm. like what, that you used in like the sizzle reel and even like in the opening, like all of that can stay the same. I just want to change. You're talking about the title cards? Title cards. That's it. Title like cards. Yes. Like on the words and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All mm -hmm. of that would be. Yeah, yeah still, we'll still keep that cohesive. Yes, 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 um, exactly. But it will, like you said, the Paris edition, it will look a little different. Right. Like the footage and stuff. And yeah, even okay. like in the beginning of the original one, remember how I start talking as soon as you see the the trees and stuff? The footage and stuff. Mm -hmm. I want it to be just like that. And then like even the way mm -hmm. you put telling our stories, a conversation, all of that can be the same. It's just going to say telling our stories and it's going to say the Paris edition. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 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 all of that is consistent. Okay, so that's cool. We got to pop up. And you mentioned something about the B roll folder. Did you see that? I don't, I don't think I did, but I want to make sure I'm not reading it different because what I had <clears throat> is the Dropbox, right? Yeah. I see. I see Paris Extras. Maybe that's, that's it. That's not. Okay, so when I download the Paris Extras, I have. Story, oh, God, I got to unzip it. It's going to take a minute to unzip oh, okay. it. It took about 30 minutes now. I, were there pictures in there as well? Some stills? I don't know if there's any stills. I think it's just all like video. Because you know, I filmed my Patreon too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're going to do your whole, your whole life over there. Right. That. So, like, I put some clips of that, like, just me living my life. And I just figured it would be yeah. nice. Like at the ends of episode, like the end of like different episodes, like as the credits are rolling or something, it, you can show me in action with you know just living my life there. It ain't got nothing to do with telling our stories, but yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. For like sure. this, we can use it as like outtake, like outtakes of if you will, 
like when I'm sitting there cutting up with them in the movie theater and I and I think I cut that like around the parts that I wanted to be in there and you know just different moments like that okay yeah, I think it, let me see. And it doesn't have okay. to. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I think this is, okay, so I'm looking at where it says pairs extras. There are some pictures. Okay. Um, but there there are some clips too. So some of the clips I see just okay. give you an idea of what's in here. So yeah, so we can use, yeah, yeah, so we can use pictures too. We can use pictures and. You, you walking down the street talking? To the camera? Yeah, yeah. Showing some people. Okay, so that's the B roll photo you were talking about. Yeah. Okay, okay. And so even I in, wanna make sure I wasn't missing anything. Yeah. So that and you so like those moments. And you know what? I, well, I, when I sit in it, mm -hmm. it may come, it may work, it may not. Even maybe going into the little commercial break. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. What they call pot busters could be little quick little yes uh, snippets of a moment that you might have had. I see you talking to some guy in an umbrella. That might be a moment. That exactly. That That's exactly what I mean. Going to the yeah, okay. So we'll call those bumpers. I okay. And then bumpers. I still will incorporate stuff. I still will do some stuff at the um, At the end of the episode, yeah. It, yeah, uh huh. Because remember how in the original uh -huh. we did, yeah. like you would still hear us talking, and you did it also when we did. Gay like me conversation. Derek and I were still talking, but you didn't see us. Mm -hmm. It was just like the credits were. Mm -hmm. We don't have moments yeah. like that necessarily. Well, I don't guess, but we can kind of use those. Sometimes they happen organically. Exactly. Y'all might be saying something and no, you know, camera roll. Exactly. And a lot of times I might, if I could see you, yeah. So we'll let that see. But I think these bumpers will make this one unique in itself. Exactly. Moments of you in Paris. Yes. And so I got to send you, I still got to do some voiceovers, but I just didn't want to overwhelm you. That's what I had on the list. Yeah. No, that's okay. Okay. That's what I had on the list. I'm taking notes too. Thank you for reminding me. I knew there was something like that. Uh -huh. So, um, okay, the bumpers and voiceovers. Okay, the promos. So you wanted, I'm sorry, the scissors. You mm -hmm. wanted to do, did you say two different things? So like, what I was thinking was, to kind of teach, cause like, so when do you realistically think we could be ready to do like a first episode? In my mind, I was just thinking sometime in January, but if you're still gonna be booked up until then, we can push to. I wanna, I want, I was gonna say January. And if I get a, a really solid production calendar really laid out, uh -huh. then that could, that could happen. So okay. let's do, cause one of the shows I'm doing, it, it, it airs on Martin Luther King's uh, birthday. Okay. Which I don't want. I don't know if that's too far into January, but after that, I know I'll be my plate will be a little empty. No, no, no. That's that's <laughs> but, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, like late January is fine because I got some other but stuff I that, I'm, that okay. I'm putting out on my like, um, Patreon anyway. So like, I got some stuff that I'm I'm dropping every Friday for them, and that's going to take me through the end of January. Okay. Even though, unless you're, if, if you're not on Patreon, you don't get to see that. But so it's not satisfying the audience that's on Facebook and YouTube. But what I'm trying to do is the original episodes that we did. I never mm -hmm. put them on Facebook. So what I, you know, how like TV One and BET will do this oh, thing. What yeah, I was thinking about, yeah. So like five weeks before we dropped the first new one, I was gonna start putting those on Facebook mm -hmm. like five weeks in advance. Okay. And then what I'm thinking is, if we did two quick little 90 second teasers, and oh, then okay. and then one full like I guess like four minute one, then so I, that know, would be like the scissors. Correct. So I would drop one maybe like the first week in January, maybe drop another one like the second week in January. Then I would drop the four minute one maybe like the third week in January, and then we'd be ready to drop the actual episode the fourth week in January. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So that's what I was kind of thinking. Okay, so, okay. So the month of Jan, yeah. one, 90 second, first week, second week, another 90, third, okay. And then the final week, after that. Yeah. Okay. And then um, <laughs> as far as like the color of it, I don't know if you looked at any of the footage. Man, this is the challenge I'm having as an editor. A uh, lot of a lot of videographers shoot like that. Yes. And they expect us to color it right and i was like oh we look so um we look so faded it's, it's washed yeah it, it, they, they give it to you um so many different ways they describe it. it's washed flat 
So a lot of uh, people who shoot now will do that. But really, when you got a big budget and when you're going to broadcast and film, you got a whole department that does colorists. Right. Or colorists. So they like to shoot like that because colorists want it like that because it's like a, a, a clean slate for them. Right. But for us, who just edit kind of post-production. Right. We don't normally do that. We right. the professionals do it. So for me to do it, it's going to be a test. We're going to be playing with it. Because I don't really do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so what I was thinking... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I didn't know how difficult that would be. But what I was thinking was, Mm -hmm. when I said make it documentary style, because it already has that, like, bleached kind of look, that faded kind Mm -hmm. of look, I was wondering Mm -hmm. if we put some sort of a filter all the way through it. You know, like, they, um, the only one that I really know offhand, and I'm not saying this is the one to use, but there's Mm -hmm. one called a... um, Shit. I lost it that quick. Um. Oh damn! I can't think of it right now. Um, I can't think of the name of it. But I was just thinking, if we who is it? Is it black and white or no? It it was um, it was a color, but it was it was almost like it's like a haze that that you put over like a certain part when you want to try to do like a flashback where you want it to look like a memory. I know what you're saying, but I don't know what it's called. I mean, yeah. it's not a blur or or a or some vignettes are white like that around. Right. Pages. Yeah, I can't think of what it is. But um, I, I was just thinking if we could just maybe canvas the entire thing with something where it wouldn't be a thing where you have to go in and color well, correct. Well, we kind of perfect the color. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, let me play with the. I'll play with a couple of looks, and I'll um, send, send it over you to like me. A, a clip. Uh-huh, okay. A couple of clips. Let's see. Okay. Um, and then what else did I have? The fan could have the be all voice. And you're going to send me the voiceovers. Yeah, I'll send you the voiceovers. Um, for the 90s. Well, you may, well, you may not. We'll see. Well, yeah. Let me know how you want the promos to go. You may not need a lot of voiceovers for those 90 second promos. Um, yeah, I'm really just time. thinking like um, something really quick. I'll send you some ideas for voiceovers mm-hmm. too. But I'm just thinking something really okay. quick where I just give the who, what, when, where. Okay. Uh, you know, um, you know, something like something like that. I may just say like a couple things here and there, and you can just kind of drop it, and mm-hmm. they'll just kind of see it. Mm-hmm. Coming soon. Okay. You know that kind of thing. And you also mentioned this hoodie purchase. Now you were talking about doing that within the episode or at the end of the episode. What did I okay. say? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember well, what I said. It sounded like you were saying there were, I guess there were shots where he might have purposely shot. This oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I so got it. Saying, mm-hmm. So so you're saying, okay, go ahead. I took Vinny, uh, uh, one of my sweatshirts that I have, and it, I think it says therapy is sexy. Mm-hmm. And so I was just thinking whenever it is possible, I'm, you ain't got to go out of your way to do it. But I was just thinking, like, whenever possible, when you can see, like, a clear shot of it where it says therapy is sexy, if we could do, like, mm-hmm. a little pop-up, like, right under his shirt with, like, a little arrow or something and put available for purchase, CraigTheWriterStewart.com or something like that. You know what I'm now, saying? Yeah, I got you. I got this what I thought I read. Uh-huh. I don't do a lot of, I don't do a lot of watching media on social media i know that that's the way the world is, is shifting to now mm-hmm. i gotta catch up i'm just not really in it <laughs> right. so at first i was thinking would that break if 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 when that hoodie is shown something is being said or they're in the middle of the conversation would that mess people up to see an advertisement pop up like that or is that kind of normal in this world no, well no, not anything audi- audible like you wouldn't hear it it would just be like no, a, no, 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 yeah, saying, yeah even if it's visual is that Kind of normal that no, I that's no, that's normal. It'll be, it's kind of like product okay. placement. It's just kind of like, it, and it would have to be a real clever kind of way of doing it, though. Um, mm-hmm. It's something subtle but still subliminal. Like, um, yeah, I, I'll just kind of have to kind of think about it a little, but just kind of like a little, like a little bubble, if you will, that comes up available, CraigTheWriterStuart dot com or something like that. Okay. Oh, and the promos that we're going to do for your commercial breaks are the same ones you used before, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you had any new ones. Right? No, okay. I don't have any new ones. We'll use those. Um, 
We'll use those same ones. I'm trying to, yeah, we'll use the same ones. Do you have a sponsor like you did before at the top of the hour? You know um, how you mentioned this is a sponsor guy brought to you back. Right. Um, I'll reach out to her to see if she wants to do it again. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, but I'll ask her if she wants to do it again. Okay. And then what I may do also is um, on the live, I'll ask like small business owners if they want to be like a sponsor mm -hmm. during the Telling Our Stories episodes. And then they can just send me whatever it is about their business. And if it's an actual video, I can get that over to you and we can just kind of okay. plug in a little commercial, a quick little commercial for that. Or if they don't have like a little video, I could just say this episode is sponsored by blah, 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 blah. Visit them mm -hmm. today at da, 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 you know, da, da, da. So I could still do that. So I, that's something that I'll look into doing as well. I'll start pitching that okay. now so that um, we can have all of that stuff in by the time we're ready to, you know, start plugging stuff in like that. Okay. All right, well, I am, um, what's today, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Let me try to get to you before the weekend. Don't okay. be going into Christmas. Uh, a kind of a schedule, a production schedule, so you, you, you can kind of see. It's going to help me to okay. stay on track. All so right. I'll let you know I need such and such by this. This is when this going to drop, blah, 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 blah. Got blah, it. Blah, 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 okay. Blah. And I'll get those voiceovers to you before we talk again this weekend. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Did you just call me a thingy? I said, "Where's the man?" <laughs> Girl, they doing like drilling at my house. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to hear her. Where's the man? But I'll just come down when you send me the link. I said, I'll just come downstairs when you send me the link. What's going on? Nothing. I was just talking to Miss Mary. What's your house? Oh, you know, they, they what saw. What are you doing right here? Right where? Girl, you ain't recording in here, you see? Girl, I'm recording you. <laughs> calling, me, calling me a baby. No, don't record me. Girl, you got to get Donna Summer hair, girl. No, just don't record me, girl. Girl, you got to get Donna Summer hair. Don't record me because I was going to say some pertinent stuff. <laughs> Girl, no, I, would, I wouldn't let you do no, that. No, I was going to say some pertinent or, things. Or I would have deleted don't, it. Girl, don't record me, girl. <laughs> Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and I'm inviting you to join my Patreon. Don't know what a Patreon is? It's my official video diary with only exclusive content that you won't see anyplace else. It's easy to join. Just visit patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. Here's what you'll find on my Patreon. A day in my life, whether that's dinner with friends or a typical work day. Live Q&As with members of my Patreon about each episode of the T.S. Madison experience and what I was really thinking. I'll even bring you on vacation with me. The video will make you think that you are right there. And last but not least, for all of my aspiring writers, I give you firsthand, one-on-one, -on -one, personalized attention, answering all of your questions about publishing and self-publishing. So what are you waiting for? Join now. Swipe up or visit www.patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Craig the Writer. Do it now.